today's lesson will be about important trading habits and uh, based on it you actually find out that uh, trading is something very personal. As we spoke several times into our lessons, reading the news is one of the most important habits that one trader should have. So, why we should read the news on a daily basis? Well, here the main reason is that in this way you're going to be more involved into the sector and to the security that you're trading. Also, when you develop this skill with the time, you're going to start sorting the news very quickly and to choose only what is relevant for you. Trust me, when you become good in this, this will save you a lot of time. Furthermore, by constantly checking the news, you can very easily spot something from another sector, which you're not currently follow, and based on this, you can look for trading opportunities there. What's next is to find your sources. The best way to analyze quickly the news is by checking them on platforms which are comfortable for you. Last time I showed you several websites that I'm using, but if they're not comfortable for you, don't feel obliged to use them. There are tons of informational platforms, free and paid one, and by checking them you can find the one that is perfectly fitting to your needs and your budget. Now we are coming to the main problem that comes with trading and it is the stress. The first thing which every trader should know is to avoid trading under stress. When you are stressed this affects your decision making in a bad way and also it's making you to act irrational. With the stress from bad trades might come the revenge trading. Which you should know is one of the biggest nightmares for many traders. If you try to take a revenge from a losing trade this is very possible to bring you more and more losses. This is due to the fact that in most of the cases you are losing from a certain security with a reason. It might not be applicable for your trading strategy or you just don't get the way it trades. It doesn't matter too much. What is important here to remember to avoid this because it might take you out of the business. So that's why what is next is to find your way to reduce the stress. It is very good if you have some hobbies because they can take you out from the trading sphere for some time, you can refresh your mindset and come back into a better shape. Also, there are a lot of people who like to travel. This is helping a lot as well because when you're on vacation and you travel a bit, this really reduces your stress level and you can come back ready to take over the markets again. If you're interested into this topic, you can check my blog, it is on our YouTube channel and the name is The Vacation of One Trader. What comes next is the golden rule of money management. I've mentioned it once before and I'll do it again. And it is, don't risk more that you can actually afford to lose. This is very important, especially for beginner traders. When you're starting your trading career, it's very important to invest money only if they're not going to harm your lifestyle. Otherwise, this will make you nervous that you have to generate profit no matter what. This affects your decision making and the proper development of your trading strategy. The best way to follow the golden rule is to create your own money management. In this way, every risk that you take will be applicable to your trading strategy and your personal finance. If the amount of money that you're investing makes no difference for your lifestyle, this will make you calmer and your decisions will be more rational. In this way, you won't take a necessary risk in order to make money and to return your investment. The finished result is that you'll probably start to make money more slowly but steadily. And in the end, don't forget that it is your bank. It is your money, so that's why when you develop a plan and your own trading strategy, don't let anyone to interfere with it and just follow your idea. Because in the end, all the bad decisions and the losses that you're realizing will be on you. Make your personal investment plan and protect your capital with good management. Now we are coming to the trading record. It is one of the most important trading habits which will help you to isolate your mistakes very quickly. The first and very important action is to keep track of your trades. In this way, it's going to be very easy for you to find pattern into your losing trades and to fix the mistakes. Also in this way, it is going to be very easy for you to find out in which situations you're realizing profit most often and to apply more aggressive strategy for these securities and to push harder for the future. Next step is to make often reviews. In this way you can track your progress and to see if the new changes which you're making in order to isolate the mistakes are giving the needed results or you just need to adjust something more. It is the same with the winnings. By tracking your trades you can see very easily if the aggressive strategy that you're implementing is giving better results for your current profitable trades. Here the most important thing to remember is to find pattern which is allowing you to maximize your winnings and to minimize your losses. 
and we are going to finish our lessons with the main steps that you need to follow. First is don't overcomplicate your trading. If you keep it simple, there are less things that can go wrong. Even though trading is looking very complicated in its basis, it is not like that. Because after all, there are only two ways in which the price can go. That's why if you keep your trading strategy simple and straightforward, you have a better chance to succeed. As you probably saw from this lesson, the trading is something very personal, so that's why second is to find your personal trading approach and stick to it. All the things that I told you in this lesson are aimed to give you the basic knowledge in a way to have enough time to develop as trader to find your comfort zone for securities and for sectors and also to personalize your strategy. Then when you have your strategy and you stick to it, the good results will come, you just need to give it time to develop. Sometimes it takes more time than you were expecting, but if trading were easy, everybody was going to do it. That's why with properly built strategy, you're actually buying time because during the learning period, there will be ups and downs for sure. But when it is over and you're actually starting to make money, it is for lifetime.